Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I do natural hair videos. So if you are interested in learning how to grow your hair long, healthy, and strong, consider hitting that subscribe button and then hitting that notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I post a new video and we'll be on the way to a healthy hair journey. So today, as you guys can see by the title, we are going to be trying the Melanin Hair Care Signature Trio. So if that's something that you're interested in and learning my honest opinion and my review on it, just keep right on watching. Okay. So, like I said, today we are going to be trying the Melanin Hair Care Signature Trio that is with the Melanin Multi-Use Softening Leave-In Conditioner. And then we have the Melanin Multi-Use Pure Oil Blend. And then we also have the Melanin Twist Elongating Style Cream. Okay, so like I said, um, I'm super excited about trying these products. I have been dying, okay? I have been wanting to try these products since she dropped like the Twist Elongating Cream, but I'm sorry. I try a lot of different products and sometimes stuff don't work, okay? And I obviously y'all see, I've been trying to give people the benefit of the doubt, but this was like, $16.99 or something like that and while Whitney okay Whitney I love you and I know your product is probably gonna be dope because you the DIY queen and all that other stuff that $10 shipping got me okay because I'm like okay technically that's like $26 for a product we gonna see how all this stuff goes um but yeah so enough about all of that um we are gonna go ahead and get started and so today i am going to do a wash and go with these three products i'm gonna be using my llc method the leave-in the oil and then the cream this is my llc you know i know this says a twist elongating and all that other stuff but I do wash and goes, so that's how I feel like I can really prove if the product is good or not, if it lets me do my wash and go. So that's what I'm going to do today, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. I know that it says that you can use this leave-in conditioner in like seven different ways, but today I'm going to use it as a leave-in conditioner because like I said, this thing was $18, and let me tell you something, I love you Whitney, but $18 is a lot, okay? Okay? And I know for 16 fluid ounces, like technically you know what i'm saying as far as the value and everything like that like it's right around if not cheaper than like your normal products like shea moisture or Niel or main choice or anything like that because they normally give you like eight ounces but it's still 18 dollars at one time okay and then that 10 dollars shipping okay so we're not gonna sit here and act like but i'm gonna support you whitney because we supporting, okay? That's what we doing. We not complaining, we supporting, but I'm just letting you know, $10 is kinda steep. But anyway, so, but that is the reason why I'm only gonna use this as a leave-in conditioner today. So I took about this much and, ooh. It's definitely creamy and it's, okay, so it smells like spearmint gum. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I just have a weird thing about gum. So, mm, for that, I'm not a fan. Ooh. It's definitely moisturizing though. I'm going to go in next with the Melanin Multi-Use Pure Oil Blend. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit. That doesn't look like a little bit, but. And this has a nice little smell to it, too. It 
it definitely softened my hair. Okay, that was nice. That was very nice. So next I'm going to go in with the Twist Elongating Cream. And this is, oh, it's nice and thick. It kind of reminds me of Texture ID, but it has more of a thicker consistency than Texture ID because Texture ID kind of has like a buttery filling, like a fluffy filling. If that, I don't know. If you've ever used Texture ID, then you kind of know what I mean. Okay, so while I do think this is very moisturizing and all that good jazz, I gotta let this hairstyle last, okay? Because I got things to do, okay? So I'm gonna go in with my Extreme Gel and I'm just gonna go ahead and go over the section after I go in with my LLC. And then I'm gonna throw on some wet line on top of it and hopefully it won't flake or anything. Um, but yeah, because look at that. Realistically, my hair is probably gonna be frizzy. And like I said, I got stuff to do. Not throwing shade at the products. My hair needs a gel in order to like hold the definition in. Unless the products have like a really, 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 really strong hold. Like if it's a cream like Talia Wajid, normally I need a gel to go on top of it to really hold my definition in. If not, it's just gonna be like this and it's just gonna be a frizzy mess. Like look at that, that's a lot of frizz. And I just wanted to let you guys know why I was going over with the wet line. Okay, so we got some nice juicy defined curls now. Okay you guys, so I am done with my hair and this is what it's looking like. It looks really good. Uh, the only thing that I am nervous about is I don't know if you guys can tell, there are some like white little clumps it looks like. You can't really see it on the camera, I don't think. Maybe, but I ain't gonna lie. That hair look juicy, <laughs> juicy, juicy fruit. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Um, but yeah, so, so far it looks really good and everything like that. Um, I'm hoping that it stays that way. I didn't use much of the twisting. I didn't use much of the twisting cream. You can see that right now. I didn't use much of that at all. Um, and then I only use a little bit of the leave-in conditioner. Um, and then I use my wet line, what it all looks like with the product applied. Yeah, I'm really excited to see how it's gonna come out. I hope I don't have any flakes. Um, my hair smells like spearmint bubble gum to be exact. And I don't <sighs> But other than that, I'm gonna go sit in the dry, let my hair dry, and then I will come back when my hair is dry. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. And this is what my hair is looking like. And so this, okay, so wow. I do think my hair looks really good and it is very fluffy and everything. Um, this is day one, okay? I do like my results, like I said, I do like my results because it gives me like second or third day hair on the first day. And I do like that because it's very big and it's very soft, it's very fluffy. I still have some definition and everything. I have personally been leaning more towards the defined look lately and I've really been feeling that. Um, but I also really like this fluffy, fluffy little look that I have going on. So I use the Melanin Multi-Use Leave-In Conditioner and I use the Melanin Twisting Elongating Style Cream. So I did use these two in conjunction with the um, Extreme Gel, the new formula. And I didn't use as much gel as I would have like on a normal day, simply because I really wanted these products to shine through and you can really see these products and not 
the gel, okay? So the Melanin Multi-Use Softening Leave-In Conditioner. This is a 16 ounce bottle and I wanna say it was $18.99 um, on the Melanin Hair Care website. I use this as a leave-in conditioner because it says you can use it in seven different ways. And it says you can use it as a rinse out conditioner, you can use it as a deep conditioner, you can use it as a leave-in conditioner, you can use it as a detangler, you can use it as a pre-poo, and you can use it as a daily moisturizer. I think a styler is the last one. I think a styler, I don't really see that in here, but I think a styler is the last one. Of course, it has no sulfates, no parabens, no silicones, no mineral oils, no phthalates. I'm just gonna put them all over here and um, no formaldehydes. So all the bad stuff you don't want in your products, it's not in here. And I don't feel like I use a lot of it. So that's a plus considering that it's $18. But one thing I do, I do wanna mention as far as with this is I really did like it. Um, It really felt like it put a lot of moisture back into my hair. It was very, very light. Like it was a very lightweight product. Um, and my hair normally likes super thick products, but it was creamy, okay? It was very creamy, um, but it was very lightweight. So I feel like the only problem with using lightweight products when you're used to using heavy products is you feel like you have to put a lot on your hair to get that heavy feeling that you're used to. So that's the only complaint that I have about it, but I mean, that's more of a me thing. Um, so I can't even blame it on this. Um, it's just a very light, it's just very light product. So I don't know if I would use it as a deep conditioner because I like super thick deep conditioners. Um, so I don't know if I would use it as a deep conditioner. I could definitely see myself using it as a pre-poo. Um, it was great detangling my hair. Like I literally was putting it in and just like, like just the tangle just melted out, which is, it was great. Um, I had a really great experience with this. Um, the only thing, um, and I don't know if it was this or the leave-in conditioner, is I was getting like clumps. I was getting like, it was kind of clumpy. And I don't know if that, like I said, I don't know if that was leave-in conditioner or if it was in conjunction with the cream, the twist elongating cream. Um, but I definitely feel like I use a lot more of the leave-in conditioner versus the actual cream. But I really do like, but I like this product as well, the twist elongating cream. Um, this also has, no sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oils, no formaldehydes, no phthalates. Um, and then it's with shea butter and natural oils. Um, these products were very moisturizing. The only thing is, and even like right now, my hair feels moisturized. It just doesn't look like it's gonna be moisture packed for a lot of days. So I'm not really sure how long this wash and go will last. Um, especially with it being all rainy and stuff out there. Would I say that these products are worth the coins, worth the hype, all that stuff like that? Yes, I would definitely say that simply because number one, you know the ingredients are bomb, okay? You know the ingredients are all natural. You know that they're not watered down ingredients or ingredients that'll compromise your health or anything like that. Because one thing about Whitney is y'all know we trust her, okay? And I really do trust that these products are very healthy for your hair. So in that regards, I am gonna keep using them. Um, I don't know how often I'll use them. I just really like more definition, but I'm gonna continue to try to use these products and figure it out how I like them and stuff like that um, because I do like it. I do like it. It was very good as a leave-in conditioner. It, did, it really was moisturizing. It really did as a detangler like it got all the knots and stuff out um it, this is just really good i really really liked it um and i'm going to continue to spend my coins on that 18 dollars and all um and i think this will be really really good for a twist out but i just don't do twist outs like that so that's why i did a wash and go and even with my wash and go it still did very well um maybe i should make my maybe i should have my hair a little bit more wet but like i said it definitely doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad or anything and i i like it 
um, and it feels super, super soft. It's just one of those things as if it all depends on what type of wash and go you're looking for. These, these are summer products. That's what I'm gonna say. They are summer products because even though they're nice and creamy and everything like that, they're not super heavy, you know, and they seem kind of thick and everything too, but they're not. And that's okay. Um, it's just, I would want something like this in the summertime that's like super light and super fluffy and everything like that. And um, in the wintertime, I feel like I would need something with a little bit more hold, a little bit more moisture. Um, because like I said, my hair just like, it feels like it really does feel um, like it really does feel moisturized and everything. It doesn't feel dry, but just looking at it, like even my homegirl told me that it was looking kind of dry. Like I was like, don't it look kind of dry? Like, and she was like, I mean, yeah, your hair has definitely looked a lot more shiny or whatever. <sighs> I don't know. I want to keep trying these products. Um, <clears throat> moral of the story, um, I like these products. Um, I just think that it is not a winter time type of thing, at least for me, um, because I need stronghold. Um, and she did say, like I was just watching one of her videos the other day or like maybe it was early today, I don't remember, but I was watching it and she was saying that this doesn't give your hair definition. Like it doesn't give you definition you don't have. So realistically, that's why I can't really be mad at it. Cause I'm like, all the friends that I have, like my hair is normally super frizzy. So that's why I'm like, I'm not mad at it. Um, this is just more of a situation where I've done like maybe a few deep, uh, protein deep conditioners or protein treatments in a while in a row. So my, um, frizz is under control a little bit better. Um, so I'm going to say that using stuff like this, if you have thick hair like me, if you have high porosity hair like me, if you have a high density hair like me, um, you will probably want to use this in the summertime because if you're like me, you probably want like a lot of hold and a lot of moisture. I'm going to try this alone and I'm going to try this alone one day and I'll let you guys know as far as how I feel, you know, do like a comparison and all that stuff too. Um, but like I said, I really do like my hair. It's light and it's fluffy. I just think for me, these are products that I'll probably end up using in the summertime because they do have that light, airy feeling like, like look at it. It really is nice. It's no flakes or anything like that because that's something I was worried about with the wet line stream gel. Yeah, that is all, you guys. That is all that I have for this video. Um, have you guys tried the Melanin Hair Care line by Napture85? Um, what were your thoughts? Have you tried the new leave-in conditioner? Have you only tried the twist elongating cream? Have you tried the oil? Like which one? Which products have you tried? Um, did you like it? Um would you consider spending your coins on it again? Like, let me know, um, because I definitely would. Um, I love her, so I'm gonna definitely support. Um, they work fairly decently, so, you know, I'm not gonna, I don't see why I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? If I can, you know, if I can give my money to these white companies and their products work, mm, kinda all right too, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not even saying that they don't work, I'm just saying that I need I need to use these accordingly and right now is probably not the best time for me to use them. So, or either maybe I just need a stronger gel or something. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Either way, I like the products overall. Um, I like the results that I got overall. I just wish it was not winter right now. That's the only thing. So, that is all that I have for this video. Again, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this review of the Melanin Hair Care Signature Trio, um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment down below, share with your friends, all that good jazz. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.